the Ticket Boys anchor our Cowboys camp coverage from Oxnard. Craig Miller from the Morning Newsers is with us uh, tonight. And I heard you guys this morning. It has dawned on you that the Cowboys may have accomplished something no other pro franchise ever has. Float your theory out there for us. Well, first of all, Mike, it's always great to hear your voice. Uh, secondly, yeah, my thought this weekend as I was thinking about the Cowboys and how they compare to the other legendary sports brands uh, in the country, in all sports, the Lakers, the Yankees, the Celtics. Yeah. I feel like the Cowboys have had this 20-year stretch of futility that very few, if any, other legendary organizations ever have. You know, the Lakers, uh, they were terrible this year, but they've been really good forever. And same with the Celtics. Uh, they were really good this year, and uh, they go up and down. But both of those franchises have won championships much more recently than the Cowboys. So of the Yankees, you know, maybe they had a little lull in the 80s, but in the 90s they started winning championships again after winning them in the 70s and early 80s. So I just think it, when you step back and look at the last 20 years and you count two playoff wins, that's almost hard to believe that one of the signature franchises in American sports has had a 20-year period of futility. Some might also make, find it hard to believe that Jerry Jones is being mentioned for the Hall of Fame as soon as next year. Now, I think he is a Hall of Famer. Exactly when owners should go in is always kind of uh, a weird question. But you agree that Jerry Jones, in spite of the 20 years of futility, given what he has accomplished, belongs in the Pro Football Hall of Fame? Yeah, it's a hard argument to make given what he hasn't accomplished in the last 20 years, but when you take his entire body of work into account and you consider uh, the championships won and what a, a game changer he was in terms of monetizing his brand and uh, furthering the global image of the NFL, and I, I don't think there's any question Jerry's a Hall of Famer. Uh, you know, there have been other owners that have been put in the Hall of Fame, and I think Jerry's right up there with the, the most legendary owners. It's hard to sell that to Cowboy fans because they've been very frustrated with him lately. And, and I think he should go in somewhat soon. He is in his 70s, and he'd probably like to be there for it. Uh, I know you just got back to camp. You missed the media party uh, last night. Heard some pretty good stories about that party this morning. Uh, you, you regret having to miss that? Yeah, I do. Uh, I know George and Gordon drank a lot, and they got a little out of control, and uh, thankfully uh, there wasn't an ugly incident. Uh, I know they had an interfacing with Jerry, which is always awkward because Jerry asked Gordon about the fake Jerry, and then nobody really knows what to do. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry I couldn't attend that one. Well, Craig, uh, I look forward to, to, again, perhaps someday seeing you face-to-face, -face, but uh, thanks for joining us here <laughs> via satellite or whatever the technology is now from Cowboys Training Camp at Oxnard. The ticket's Craig Miller. Thank you, sir. Please say hi to Clarice for me. Uh, when I was an intern there back in the 80s, she always told me that I could do great things in this business, and please tell her that I'm sorry that I let her down. I was going to say, she didn't really believe that when she said it. Uh, I'm Mike Ducey, Fox Sports Sports.